Hello and welcome. I'm Tom Cohen, head teacher, and I'm pleased to give you a very, very warm SJP welcome. Whether you are here with us in person this evening or viewing online, you're most welcome to this wonderful community. And whatever your situation, if you haven't already, I urge you to contact us to come and see the school in all of its full vibrancy and colour and activity. I'm sure you'll be struck like so many visitors with the distinct SJP quality. Our students, our most wonderful ambassadors, would be very, very keen to show you around, to showcase their school, and you'll be really welcome to come and experience the wonderful community that we all know and love here. It's based upon six decades of fantastic academic outcomes and the highest quality pastoral care. Many of our staff have devoted 15, 20, 25, 30 years and more to serving the SJP community. And that allows us to provide children with great stability and continuity. It allows us to forge really firm, strong, positive relationships with parents and carers over associations sometimes that can extend 10, 15 years and beyond so that we really form positive partnerships that will see our young people well supported to fulfil their God-given potential and to progress from their time with us towards rich and fulfilling and life-affirming futures that we know our young people go on to enjoy. Our pastoral care is outstanding. It is at the heart of the school's values, the gospel values upon which the school is founded. We recognise children, regard children as each individually made in the image of God. We take a personal interest in each and every young person that comes across our threshold. We get alongside them, working with parents and carers to support them to become the people God created us all to be, the best versions of ourselves. And this sees many young people make fantastic progress. The heart of Catholic education is progress for all. We celebrate equally a child progressing to a local college to pursue a level two course, just as we do a child who leaves us at the end of year 13 to progress to Russell Group or Oxbridge University, one of the most prestigious learning institutions in the land. We make no distinction, we celebrate them equally as much because Catholic education is about progress for each of us individually. We sow seeds with young people. We recognise that education is a lifelong pursuit. We recognise the importance of taking time and be it five or seven years, however long a young person's time with us, we invest, we take a personal interest, we commit to what we regard as wholly our God calling us to this vocation, to work alongside young people. Their experience of teaching and learning will be hugely enriching. I've mentioned the dedication of our teachers. They're highly expert, they take great pride in maintaining up-to-date knowledge, not only of their individual subjects, but of the current educational pedagogy, the philosophy around how children best learn, how we best learn. And that keeps teaching and learning always at the forefront of the conversation at St John Payne, the commitment of staff, the, the commitment to continue supporting young people at every stage and in every way. Our extracurricular provision is wide and varied, be it sporting, be it theatre visits, uh, drama productions, and as well as competing highly against other local schools, most dear to us is that principle of inclusivity and participation. I was so heartened a couple of years ago to hear our head of PE tell me that every single new year seven child had attended a series of after school sessions, a particular club. Um, be it four or six or eight weeks across a half term, that every single member of the Year 7 cohort had participated. And that's, that's very dear to us. Of course we want to compete, but even more precious to us is that sense of inclusion that children really feel that they belong, that they feel they can participate, they feel they have a place here, because the school is theirs far more than it is ours, far more than it is mine as the figurehead. Our vocation is to serve. The children always, always come first and the school operates for them before anybody else. It really is their home from home. And what makes it so special, many visitors 
invariably saying new staff and visitors to the school, I'm sure you may experience the same. We often hear there's something special about it. I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't quite know what it is. A colleague relatively new to the school who is now very, very well embedded and is, is making a fantastic contribution uh, to the school's continued success. When he joined a few years ago, he said, yeah, I, I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't quite know what it is, but it speaks for itself. And I think you'll feel the same. It absolutely does speak for itself. And I suppose what distinguishes us, because we would never really want to be able to quantify it, because if we were able to, it would have become something corporate, something branded, and St John Payne is many, many things. But um, I think you'll see, as well as we all have, that it absolutely is not corporate. What distinguishes us is the sense that we are supporting children and educating children for success, not only in this life, but for the life beyond. We recognise there's something bigger, there's something bigger than us, there's something greater awaiting us, that promise of life alongside Jesus in the Father's kingdom. And we're educating children to recognise their place in the world, uh, their responsibility to one another as members of our community, their responsibility to the wider community, and beyond that to the global community, and ultimately, the responsibility to try and emulate Christ's ultimate example as servant leader. And we see our young people do that in the friendships that we form with Columbus School and College. We see lots of children devote hours of their time to going over and befriending those young people. And some of our children will go to Lourdes with the HCPT, supporting disabled children and young people every Easter. And in many, many other ways, uh, the service and the commitment to put other people before ourselves is absolutely at the heart of our values at St John Payne. I'm very, very careful always to state that St John Payne is not better than the local provision. It's a fantastically well-served city and wider region, Chelmsford. Uh, fantastic schools. But what distinguishes us is our very distinctive Catholic Christian identity. And to conclude, if there was one thing that would summarise my vocation, my vision, which is embraced by every level of the organisation, every, every member of staff who works here. What would uh, encapsulate my vision, and I say this to children in year 11 or year 13 as they leave us, the single most important knowledge that I want them to take from their time with us, be, be, beyond any academic achievement, beyond any sporting success, is to know that throughout their time here and beyond, they are individually known, valued and loved as children of God because that's how we see them, that's what we see our vocation, that's who they are to us, everybody individually known, valued and loved. And working alongside you, we get them where they need to be. So enjoy your visit if you're with us this evening, if not, do do come and see us, contact us and uh, we'll be very, very welcome, happy to welcome you. The students, most importantly, our most fantastic ambassadors, would love to show you around. We'll see you soon, look forward to welcoming you.